Funk wanted to actually get me to rap or freestyle on his what you gonna call him. Um, he actually congratulated me on making a good song and wanted me to freestyle on his wanted me to freestyle on his what you gonna call on his on YouTube like freestyle on YouTube. And Russell Simmons wanted to take me to his recording studio to give me a tour to try to sign me, bro. And I'm like. Alright, let's go with y'all boys. Shit your nigga back. Yeah, it's JML back, man. We back with the uh another story time for y'all boys. Um something that's been going on in my life. Um y'all found out I was a rapper. You feel me? I'm like, JML, what you mean you're a rapper? I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. Um Last summer, or like a year ago, or two years ago, two years ago when I was living in Finley, I, I got locked up. Uh, I got locked up, right? And I ended up um getting a call or Funk Flex end up, yeah, I end up getting a call or two. I end up getting two, like, I end up, two people end up contacting me and end, ended up um, wanting to sign me for that song, Rockstar. I made J-Man, I feel like a rock star. Like, give me a cold heart. Huh? Going by that red car, hoping that it drive far. Um, I'll say. But, um,. So this still happened two years. This happened a year or two ago, but they ended up contacting me. I still contact them and stay in contact with them, but they actually wanted to sign your boy. This is basically why I took a year off, bro. I took a year off of YouTube. They basically wanted to sign your boy um, to a contract. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I tell you, that's why I'm sitting back. Like, you're like, Jamin, why you always, I know you're the Madden player. Like, you're always goofy. What's good with y'all, boy? Y'all boy! But that's why I'm sitting like, I'm sitting big. You know what I'm saying? I'm living large. I'm, I'm not living large, but like, I'm, I'm on a point. Like I said, I met a lot of people. And I've been making a lot of dumb decisions. I don't know what it is. I guess when you get involved in the industry, bro. I, I, I ain't gonna say I lost myself, but I, I damn near went off the rails, bro. You feel me? But we're gonna get more to that later. But like I said, I've been rapping for the last three years. A lot of y'all didn't know I was a rapper. A lot of y'all just now finding out that I was a rapper. Uh, a lot of y'all just finding out that I was a rapper. Uh, uh, what was I about to say? Uh, I, I'm uh, a lot. Y'all are like J Man. Like I don't know what y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. I guess it's like it's my private life. I'm really sacred on sharing who I really am as a person with y'all. I really don't. I really don't like sharing who I am with y'all. Like until like. I really don't sure who I am with anybody. Like girls, when it comes to girls, that's why I'm really hesitant to even make this video. Like I was, there's only a few people who knew that uh, these people contacted me, wanted to sign me for that song. But your boy do got bars. I've been spitting for like two to three years. Uh, I've been rapping for like a year or two. Like, two, like I said, I've been rapping for two or three years. I, I never thought about being a rapper until like I blew up on YouTube. I was like, I always, my mentality was always once I get to a million. That's why I need a boy to sub to this channel. Sub to this channel. So I'm taking everything serious. Uh, we're gonna start doing more videos. Even though we got Madden videos, we're gonna start vlogging and doing real life videos. Because rapping, when you become a rapper, you, you rapping in real life. And a lot of y'all like like when I did the New York vlog, like usually rappers do stuff like they do like tours, or, like they take you, they show you who they is as a person, they take you on tours of their houses, mansions, or they take you downtown. They they got clout in real life, basically, besides being a video game YouTuber. Now I'm not I'm not shitting on video game like video game, you know what I'm saying? That's where I came from. That's what I take that take to heart like, that's what I take home with me and that's what I'm real about like that's what that's what I like love about myself that like I was a Madden YouTuber and I'm also love rapping rapping is my dream but I was a YouTuber YouTuber like being a YouTuber is my dream that's why I wanted to be a rapping YouTuber but when it came to um being myself I'm never gonna shit on myself or like pretend pretend like like I would never get around rappers like I said I met a lot of celebrities like over the last year, I'm not. I'm never gonna get around them and be like, oh yeah, that YouTube and stuff is corny. Like people who do vlogs or like who who streams video games. Like ain't hey, nerdy. I would never call y'all nerds. I would never be like that. I would never change on y'all. I would never like change on myself. You feel me? So I take that. I, like, that's real sacred to me. And I take that to heart. That, like I, I came up as a YouTuber, as as a Madden YouTuber, and I I became somebody who wanted to be signed 
to a real uh, record studio, a, a real recording studio wanted to sign me for that song, you feel me? So like, that's just a story of a lifetime, like big, going from Madden YouTuber to being a rapping sensation and, and being being that big and being that known around the world, you know what I'm saying? So that's what your boy is on right now. I'm really trying to become the biggest thing and the biggest artist and the biggest rapper in the world, you feel me? And so that's why I really took a, like, took a year off, took a year or two off, and I've been on this journey, right? And everybody been trying to leave me homeless, take me to shelter, take me doing different things, but I'm really, I really am. I'm, I'm gonna say the greatest artist in the world. You feel me? I'm the greatest rapper of all time, and a lot of y'all gonna find out how. You feel me? I'm gonna start uploading music on this channel, and y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all found a diamond or y'all found somebody in the rough. I'm really trying to tell y'all boys, the nigga y'all looking at right now is the greatest rapper of all time. Y'all like, J-Man, you you play mad. Like I wouldn't expect you to be the great. Exactly, my nigga. Y'all see y'all hear I'm talking, my nigga. Y'all y'all nobody ever knew this side of me, bro. I really spit bars, nigga. Like, you feel me? But when it comes to YouTube, I'm like, yo, what's up? It's your boy, J Man Flag, aka Mr. Let's Get It Go. You feel me, nigga? Y'all feeling me now, my nigga? Like, y'all like, J Man, nigga, 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 chicka, 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 like vlogging and like that, like even on like when I stream on Twitch, a lot of y'all used to come to my streams. One sec, y'all remember this dude? I see my hair die. When y'all used to come to my streams. I used to be like this, or stream just playing video games. This, this the nigga like this the nigga like I'm not having my snapback on. I used to just stream like yo, what's up, boys? Like the nigga like who I was always, I was always high or something. This who the rapper is? J Mel Flow. I'm like, eh, it's J Mel Flow. Eh. What's good, y'all niggas? What's good, my guys? What's good, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but when it comes to me, but, but, but when it comes to being a rapper, I'm like the trillest nigga of all time. You feel me? Like, you see how that changed? Like, what's up? Like, you feel me? And that, that's why you're like, J-Man, I wouldn't expect you. Like, you you get Russell Simmons, Funk Flex, Funk Masters, like, Russell, they hit you up. I'm like, yeah, like, nobody ever really believed that I could be a rapper. That's why I always kept it low key. But I'm really trying to become the biggest thing of all time. And like I said, when I start talking to these people, they were like, yo, I heard your song. Uh, Rockstar, we want to sign you. Or, uh, Funk wanted to actually get me to rap or freestyle on his which one called him. Um, he actually congratulated me on making a good song and wanted me to freestyle on his wanted me to freestyle on his which one called on his on YouTube like freestyle on YouTube. And Russell Simmons wanted to take me to his recording studio and give me a tour to try to sign me, bro. And I'm like, <sighs> I don't know how it turns out. Now, like I said, I met a lot of people. I was talking to Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> my life really but then a lot of sh shit just hit the fan bro like I stopped caring about a lot of those people I heard a lot of those people I let a lot of those people down to my back on them like I let them hang them bro and that's something um like that's something this shit about to get emotional but like I don't know that's something I don't like when people do to me like leave me hanging you feel me um and uh I ain't gonna say and get emotional on y'all boys but um that's what I did to a lot of them people. A lot of celebrities I met, a lot of them, like they, I we was even rapping with them, I rapped with them, uh, even over the year, like walking around talking to them. Uh, we were basically in group, like group chat type scenarios. Uh, and I let a lot of them down. Let them hang. And, uh, and that's something I, I never liked when people did to me. Like, I always tell y'all, like, all these people in my life left me hanging. So fuck them. So it's like, what you expect people gonna do to you? And that's that's the number one thing I talk about, fake people. And I, I guess I turn fake on. Them. So like that.